Hey guys, welcome to Mrs. G's Sewing Space. I'm glad you're able to join me today. I have alterations today. Well, an alteration. My husband needed, had some long sleeve shirts that he needed to convert into short sleeve shirts. So this is the shirt that is normally his favorite. I use this as my template to cut the sleeves and make short sleeves on these two shirts. So in the following video, I'm going to show you how I do that. Now, just to let you know, there are different ways of doing this, but this is how I do it. I find this one to be the easiest way for me. So I share this technique with you, and if you find a way that's easier, or you understand better, or you know you just like doing a different way, that's absolutely awesome. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the other side. So in this video we're going to do an alteration. I have two long sleeve shirts right here for my husband that I am going to cut down to short sleeves. And this is the shirt he has. This is one of his favorite shirts. It's just the right length and we're going to use this shirt as measurements for the other two to get them the right length. So first things first, we're going to set these aside. And we're going to straighten out the shirt. You just pick out one side, whichever, you know, one side works best. And you flatten the sleeve out, matching up all the seams, working all the wrinkles out. There's a wrinkle back here, I can feel it. Working all the wrinkles out and getting it to lie flat, like if you were going to iron it. But you want it completely flat. So from this point, you want to get your ruler. So you're going to take your ruler and you're going to measure from the seam line to the bottom, from the seam to the bottom of the sleeve. And that is going to be I'm going to round it up to 10 inches. 10 inches. And then <clears throat> I'm going to write the number down because I'm going to forget it. Because I'm a very forgetful woman, I'm going to write everything down. So 10 inches. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. So we're going to measure from here to here. And I'm going to say five and a quarter. Okay. And then we're going to measure our hem. So you see how, let's see if we get to focus. Okay, so you see the hemline right there? There's a stitching that goes right across here. So you're not gonna count that part, but you're gonna flip it to the inside and we're gonna look at the inside of the stitching. So the inside of the stitching is a fold over seam, meaning it's not a raw edge. The raw edge has been folded to the inside and we're gonna measure. And you can usually feel, like I can feel the edge of the, of the fabric right there. So we're gonna measure and that's an inch hem right there plus I can feel it right there plus a half so we're gonna write that down our hem is one and a half inches and now that we know our information and our measurements we can toss this one aside or you know hang it back up on a hanger and we're going to bring out our long sleeve shirt now our long sleeve shirt, we're going to do the exact same thing on. We're going to straighten it out, make sure it's nice and neat. Okay. And now we're going to use our measurements that we just wrote down here a minute ago to measure and draw out the alterations that we need to make here. So from the top, sorry about that, I had to go get my, my other chalk. Okay, so we're going to measure from the top to, to the bottom of our sleeve 10 inches. Okay, and then we're going to measure from the bottom of our sleeve out 5 and a quarter inches. Alright, it was supposed to be 5 and a half. I wrote down 5 and a quarter, and it should be 5 and a half. So let's do 5 and a half. Okay. And then we're going to draw a line. Okay. 
So that's going to be the bottom of our sleeve. But we need to add our hem, which we already measured out was five and a half, um, sorry, an inch and a half. So we're going to add an inch and a half for to account to, for our hem. So an inch and a half. Okay. So now we have our lines. This is the bottom of the sleeve. This is going to be our hemline. So we want to cut right here. Okay. Now you see how narrow this is right here? It goes from being very wide to being very narrow. If we tried to turn this in an inch and a half, we, we have this much of a difference here. So let's fold that back over. Do you guys see this difference right here? That's like a, at least a half inch or three quarters of an inch difference. Right there. And so what we're going to have to do, we can do, we can straighten it out by changing the way the seam is here so it matches what the other, what the other one looks like. So I think we're going to do that instead. Okay, so now that we've got it flipped inside out, we're going to go back and we're going to measure out our hem, which is an inch and a half. So we're on our, we're going to put our measurement on that cut line right there. And we're going to redraw our bottom of our sleeve. Okay, so that's the bottom of our sleeve. So now what we want to do, we are going to lay our original one, our original seam here. We're going to match up the top. We're going to match up the top and our sleeve like this. Do it the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Well, I'm doing this for my husband, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But, you know, if you're doing it for somebody else, you, know, you want to get as, make it as good as possible. Okay. So you see the curve here? If you look at it, you can see it starts from the bottom of the sleeve, and it curves up. And then about right here, it straightens out to where it's going to be straight. So I'm going to use my ruler. And from that point, about right there, we're going to draw a line straight out, matching up our measurements here. And then we're going to follow the curve down to the point where the sleeve meets the body of the shirt. Just like that. So you see that curve right here? So before we even touch this, the hem, we're going to go and we're going to stitch that curve right there. So that way when we fold in our seam, when we fold in our edge, and then fold in the hem, there won't, it'll be equal all the way around and we don't have to worry about any wrinkles. So I'm going to
use my serger and I trimmed off the edge so that the edges were overcast. So if you don't have a serger, use the zigzag on your sewing machine or you can use the imitation the imitation serge on your sewing machine. All sewing machines have them and all you have to do is do the overcast here. So now what we're going to do, this is how I do it. I'm going to take it to my ironing board. This is how I do it on my ironing board because I'm going to iron and because this is a thin uh, cotton it'll take creases just fine. So I'll take it and I'll slide it over the nose here and I'll fold it up at that line and I'll iron all the way around. And when I'm done ironing that line I'll come back and I'll iron a half inch all the way around and once I have my creases and both sleeves then I'll, I'll sew everything together so let me go iron real quick and then we'll come back and here we are with the hem ironed so we have a half inch here an inch here fold it in fold it over just like that so that's our inch and a half right there I'm gonna put it on my sewing machine and sew a straight stitch right down here just like that across that line right there and then I'll flip it inside out and we'll be all done. So I'm gonna go do that on all on both the shirts and I will be right back. So here we are, all done. These were the two shirts that needed to be altered. They were both long sleeves. Here I have the um, extensions. So there's the sleeves. And I used the measurements off of uh, one of his favorite short sleeve shirts. Cut it up, hemmed it, and there we go. So now I have two long sleeve shirts that are now short sleeve shirts for my husband. And I've done both arms. So all I did was slide it on to my sewing machine to sew in the round. I did like a quarter of an eighth of an inch seam right there all the way around and there you go. So now I have two altered shirts from long sleeve to short sleeve and there you go. I hope you're able to use this technique and use the information that I gave you on any of your own shirts. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm glad that you were able to hang out to the end. Um, I hope that you were able to understand what I was showing you guys. I try to make it as simple and streamlined as possible. And I hope you are able to use the skills that you learned to do alterations for other clothes for you or friends or maybe if you're lucky enough you can get paid for it. You know, whatever floats your boat. But in the meantime, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I always appreciate it. Subscribe. Always, always share if you know that somebody out there is looking for this type of information and throw a comment down below. I'm trying to respond as best as I can to everything that I get and so far I'm doing pretty good but I don't have a whole lot either so we'll see how that goes. And also on Instagram hashtag Mrs. G Sewing Space and I have a Facebook group called Mrs. G Sewing Space as well and if you also want to find me on Facebook you can try um, Emily Guerra Designs as well. That was my old stuff and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that one up. I might throw some stuff out there. Anyways, and I also have a blog, emilyguerra.com, just so that I post there every once in a while and the patterns that I have for my videos are located on there and I'll probably be doing my Halloween stuff and posting that stuff there as well, not just on Instagram. So I hope you guys have an awesome weekend, enjoy your time off, and I will see you on the vlog on Friday. Take care. Bum, 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 bum.